Hi everyone, I'm Marie and we are coming to you live from Living Felt because it's Happy Wooly Wednesday! Oh, happy Wednesday friends and BFFs or our best felting friends. We are so glad to have you all here with us today and thanks for showing up because for today's live show we have a whole slideshow of things y'all have made from our school feltingtutorials.com the fairies have been picking out photos and lots of fun things to share with you so we're super glad to have you here hey say hi in the live chat which is happening over there check in because if you participate during the show you get a chance to win prizes and if you comment after the show you get a chance to win prizes so Little tip, today we're going to be giving away prizes all show long. So stick around because your chances are going to keep coming up over and over to win prizes. But before we jump into that, I want to say hi to a few folks. Hi to Sue Cotton. Hi to Maureen Wells. I know she's across the border up north. Uh, Diane Corbett, Donna Munninger, Meredith Maloney, all the usual suspects here today. Lauren Duran, Marla Okrent, Pat Neal, Joan Kilalea, all the way in Hawaii, Tammy uh, Daniels, Cindy Lilliard and Kathy Brown. That's about as many as I can see on the one screen. So thank y'all for joining us today. So before we get started, I'm gonna give away two prizes from last show, last live show. We made these wet felted bags, drawstring bags with nano felting, so using silk and fiber. And when you participate after the live show and comment down below, you get entered to win prizes. So the winners are Sarah Jacks and Linda Calver. We have some fun prizes for you um, from that show. We're going to give y'all our very special Living Felt exclusive blends. This is Pumpkin Patch and Gorgeous. So we're gonna send you a few ounces of those so that you can wet felt with. Um, all right, so for today's show, we decided we wanted to give away a bunch of prizes and we had the fairies go around and select prizes that they would like for you to win and they're gonna share those with you. So the first up today is the very charming and oh so talented fairy Alyssa. <laughs> Hello, so today I have two really awesome prizes to show you. Um, I One of them will be this felt fabric in the color pumpkin pie. You'll get a quarter yard of this so it'll be 18 by 36 and it's really good for needle felting a, a background for a needle felted picture i also have the wet felting activity pack in the color hot tones this is perfect to make an artful felt fabric with and you just wet felt some fun into it and up next is fairy trish Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! hey y'all so i have a couple of things to show you i have our fall festival bundle. It comes with six 8 by uh, 12 sheets of our 100% wool felt. And I have our wet felting autumn leaves kit. You can make this beautiful piece here and cut out your your leaves like we have in the background here. Who's not ready for some fall felted <laughs> leaves? All right, next up, Fairy Angela. Alright, hello everyone. So I have two things that I chose as well. Let me set these down. Um, this first is the needle felted fairy tale pumpkin. So this is great for fall coming up. And this is what it looks like made. Um, the kit comes with everything that you need except for needles and foam. Um, and the second one to get us in the Halloween mood is Boo Kitty. Um, and it comes with a burlap bag, but it would be fun to make this maybe for like a trick-or-treat bag for a kid. <laughs> and up next we have the wonderful Marie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all, so listen, I want you to put your finger on the heart button because I know you're going to be doing that a lot today. We have also added some vouchers to our school, feltingtutorials.com, into the prize bin today. As I mentioned, we're going to be drawing prizes throughout the time. But look, that's not all. We have our fairy in the field. As always, the very funny fairy, Kayla. Hey everybody, happy Wooly Wednesday. <laughs> it's so good to see you all here and I hope you're having an awesome week and I hope it just keeps getting better. <laughs> I just wanted to pop in really quick and share some funniness with you as always. So, super serious question. <laughs> what do you call a fish in a bow tie? What do you call a fish in a bow tie? Sophisticated. 
so much, everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next week, okay? Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, Kayla. Thanks, y'all, for putting up with the antics. This is our crew. We call them the Living Felt Fairies because they spread magic and joy and pure goodness in everything they do. And they make everything we sell. They pack all of your orders. They answer your emails. And we love them. And we love you, too. So we've had a lot, a lot, a lot of fun the last couple of years with our online school. It's enabled us to reach and connect with so many of you. And today seemed like with back to school happening for big kids and little kids alike. It seemed like a great opportunity to just look at some of the amazing things our friends have created from the school. So we're going to have a slideshow. So as I mentioned, um, I'm going to talk you through, we're going to look at a variety of things you can create in the school. And at the end, we're going to give you a sneak peek, uh, which you might have seen before, but we're going to show you the next class that's coming up. We'll show that at the end. And I'll also tell you who my guest is going to be next week, um, which is another contribution, contribution to the school. So Thank you. Grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, a snack, whatever, because I know it's going to be fun. And as I said, just put your hand on that, that heart button because we'd love for you to give feedback to these folks. And we're going to be giving prizes all throughout the show. So stick around here and keep on watching. The very first class we're going to look at uh, projects from is called the Woodsy Vessel, which was done uh, by our dear friend Don Edwards. And the first up is Freddie Corbin. I don't know how to say that right. Freddie said, I enjoyed this workshop very much. Thanks, Dawn. And if you don't know, this class teaches you how to wet felt over a closed resist. We use a fiber that helps create a slightly stiffer result so that your vessel will keep its shape. And you learn all of these amazing textural elements that really make your vessel look like something you found in an old growth forest. It's just incredible. We have more from this class. The next up is Gail Griffin. Her picture, she says, this was her very first try and she will be making another as a wedding present for an outdoorsy couple. That is fantastic. And you see that mushroom style going on on the side. We have another one by Tina Christensen Parman. Look at this beautiful vessel. She says she finally finished it and she really enjoyed the class. Thank you so much. I love her addition here of the handle and the actual found elements uh, from the forest floor, which is, I have tons of those myself, so I can really relate to this. All right, Stephanie Larafay, I don't know how to say this beautiful name. She said, I put the finishing touches on my beachy vessel. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I look forward to making the woodsy version. And she said, thank you to Dawn for being so inspiring. We agree. And that is such a beautiful, original uh, piece. Thanks to learning those techniques. So awesome. All right, Memory Bradley. This was a very popular class, y'all. Fantastic class, Dawn. It took some patience to rub in all those embellishments, but worth it. Thanks, she says. And great job on that photograph, too. I think that's something we all strive for, getting a really pretty picture of these amazing creations. All right, our friend Kathleen Dodge to Haven up there in the Pacific Northwest. She said, this is my completed vessel. I'm very happy with this course. Thank you, Dawn. I just can't say enough for all of these amazing vessels that came out of this class. They are so beautiful. And we have one also from Tammy Tahara. Tammy says, I loved this class so much. After making two woodsy vessel bowl, bowls, I decided to make a woodsy bird pod. And we love seeing where people go from taking a class as it is and then taking it, taking the techniques and the skills they learned and taking it to a new direction or a new place. Absolutely fantastic. And then we have Silky Coke. I hope I'm saying that the correct way. Silky says she was on holiday at the seaside and felted a maritime vessel with all kinds of stuff that she collected and that she always brings her wet felting stuff with her, which I think is just fantastic. And last up for the Woodsy Vessel course, like I said, it was really a popular class and still available, by the way. Tina Chris Pellerin. 
Tina says, I finally finished my vessel. I really enjoyed this class. Thank you so much. Wow, y'all, this class is so fun. So it's called Wet Felting a Woodsy Vessel. It's by Don Edwards. It's absolutely beginner friendly, although it may not look like it because there's so much going on. It may not be the very first vessel that you make, but we do have a free Wet Felting a Vessel course in the school that just uses one ounce of uh, fiber and is a really fun process. So. If you want to give that class a try, you know, start your basic wet felting and then wet felt it over a vessel with our free course, a couple of our free courses if you want, and then try that class because it is such a blast. And there is a kit available for that too. So I will pause in a few uh, to take some questions or hear your feedback if there's any, no questions right now. Okay, let's look at a needle felting class. The next up is the Singing Girls class by Jun Yamaguchi. Jun traveled all the way from Japan to teach this class. And this doll is by Candy Hornberger. Candy writes, thank you for such a fun class. I have finished my singing doll. I named her Eloise the Diva. I learned some new tricks from you and applied some of my own techniques to come up with a very cute diva. I loved this class and really enjoyed making my singing doll. And I think she is so precious. Isn't she just so full of life and her little uh, felted dress, beautifully photographed. All right, we have one from Sue Kutnick. Sue says, thank you so much. I learned so many new techniques to add to my felting kit, my felting toolkit. She took me 27 hours working along with my tutorial. Her name is Bella. <laughs> She's very precious. I love her so much. She's really singing. She's really belting it out too. <laughs> All right. Brenda Nelson is up next. I had fun making this doll. I am still tweaking her and I think I need to add some more bulk, but for now I'm stepping back. Thank you for the class, June. I love her hands up. She looks like she's really singing and <laughs> really singing with a lot of feeling there. And we have one more uh, from this class by Frankie Shepard Smith. Frankie says, this is Lola and Ronaldo, opera singers. I learned how to make from June Yamaguchi's tutorial, Singing Girls. Of course, I couldn't help giving them personalities. And I think they look like such a great match, don't you? Uh, I wanna see what some people are saying here. Um, oh, my, my chat's way behind. Where are you? Uh, let's see, Diane says these dolls are amazing. Um, Y'all are looking for it. I see you're finding the classes that you're wanting. And Devin says, once you buy a class, it's yours forever. You can stream whenever you want. That's right, so the school is set up. So once the course launches, and you enroll in the class, you can revisit those lessons over and over and over. They don't close. So all you need to do is keep your free account with the school and you'll stay enrolled in the classes. We do have free classes so that you can check out the, just the layout, the way we present the classes and see if that streaming format works for you. The paid classes have a class chat so that you can participate with the teachers. Um, almost all of our teachers are readily available. The only um, the only one that kind of isn't is more Diana Nagorna is in the Ukraine. It's very difficult for her to be available uh, for class chat. So those are more advanced classes anyway. But you also have other students in the class chat who can participate and give you feedback as well. You can earn completion badges and you also can earn certificates of completion once you post a finished picture of your project that's part of every course so it's really really lots of fun not every class has a kit but they all have supply lists that you can shop from and we even have shopping pages in our shopping carts you can sort of land there and see what you might uh, select for your project cool all right we have another fun one this is a combination wet felting and needle felting course by a very popular teacher laura ricks and this one is called upward gaze upward gaze is a beginner friendly course she's really mapped out a process that makes this doable and translatable she's able to teach it you're looking at a picture by stephanie williams she said i wanted to see uh i wanted to see how i would like a black Bat, mat. So she chose a black background or a black mat for her picture. Very, very beautiful. And the next one is by my friend Robin Barrett. She says, I loved this course. I love Colorado in the fall, so I added some aspens to mine. Really enjoyed the process. 
thank you to Laura. And I agree, such a fun process Laura developed for this class. We also have one by Amanda Mortimer. Amanda says, I finally finished my project. I enjoyed learning the needle felting techniques combined with wet felting. That was new for me. And Laura pretty much uses this process throughout her classes, which is just fantastic. She's really come up with something that she's able to share and teach. It's so fabulous. We also have an upward gaze by Wendy Robinson. Here are my trees. I finally, I really enjoyed this course and I will definitely be trying other versions now. I've tried all the techniques used. Thank you to Laura for the excellent videos. And what a beautiful results. All of these are just so inspiring and fun. We have also one from Kim Bennett. She says, loved Laura's class. I learned so much. And look at that beautiful piece of art. How proud is she that she matted it and framed it. It's ready to hang. A gorgeous end result. And then uh, lastly, from this class is one by Kelly Abbott. Kelly says, I could not use a hoop, just too much wool on my piece. I found this rope to use as a border and felted acorns on top to hide the seam where the rope ends meet. I learned a lot from this tutorial and thank you, Laura. And hey, thanks Kelly for the idea too on using that rope framing. That's just very, very clever. So fun are all these classes. And we have, um, so this one was by is Upward Gaze. That is a beginner friendly course by Laura Ricks. You will wet felt and you will needle felt. And it's actually, she really gives you a process that's easier than it looks. You come out with this really complex picture, but she gives you this repeatable um, methodology that you can see the results. Everyone just does so great. Okay, I have one more picture to share with you. This is from a brand new class. This is from the Bright and Beautiful Macaws with Sonia Oswalt. And this lovely piece is by Helen Russell. Look at the beauty in those macaws. Helen says, I think I'm finished. You know, I'll look at it tomorrow and find something to change. I found I really like the striped faces. I found some photos of red macaws with stripes and so I went for it. I learned so much. Thank you for the class. This is another class that is a wet felting and needle felting course. And it's really great because you start to learn to create that you can create your own custom canvas as a, to create as a backdrop for your subject. So if you're looking for a 2D class, Laura Ricks has great classes and these by Sonia Oswalt as well. And we have more that we'll be sharing with you too. So I'm gonna pause right here. I wanna see, I love seeing all the hearts come by. Stephanie Williams says, great job on the macaws. Jessica Daniels, Danielson says, I love the macaws. Um, and I see that you all are so inspired. Aren't they amazing? They're really, really fun. Well, I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna just like turn up the fun right now because we're gonna give away a prize right this minute for everyone who's been participating. Oh, <laughs> that's okay, we'll mix them up right here. So we have names right here. So what we did is we put all the prizes that the fairies chose for you into a bowl and we have your names going in this bowl and we'll keep adding your names to the bowl throughout the show. All right, Jordan, I'm going to pull the, this is the, this is the prize bucket. The prize bucket's fixed, but I, I won't peek. So, Jordan, you want to pull out a name? So I'm not, oh boy. you pull out. <laughs> so they know I'm not cheating. I'm going to give it back to you. Somebody said hello to. Oh, very nice to Donna Munninger. Congratulations, Donna. Okay, I'm going to pull out your prize right now. Okay, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. This is our first prize draw of the show. And Donna, you win a $35 voucher to the school. You can apply that to your very next class. So congratulations, Donna, that's fantastic. That's the kind of prize I'd like to win too. Very, very nice. Woo woo, woo, -woo. We, need our, we need our cowbell. <laughs> Hold on, I have my cowbell. I'm gonna ring it for a while. <laughs> That's obnoxious, but why you gotta have a cowbell in like one live show a year. All right, very good, y'all. Let's see what's up next. Now, we also have another new class that has just been crazy popular, and you're gonna know why in just a minute, are the Busy Christmas Elves by Kimberly Czar. First up from her class is Stabby Sue. Stabby says, thank you, Kimberly. You've made it very hard not to become obsessed with your whole process. 
And I have to tell you, I get to sit across from these teachers and watch them. I absolutely felt that way with Kimberly. And most of the time I leave a filming session thinking, that's what I'm going to do this week. <laughs> Make that amazing thing they just made. Great job, Stabby Sue. All right, another longtime BFF is Cherie Davidson. Cherie says, yippee, my elf twins are finished. These are the first of so many. So fun. I can hardly wait to decorate for Christmas now. Thank you, Kimberly. And aren't they charming? They look like straight out of a little storybook. So cool. All right. We have one by Pam Barr. Pam says, I had so much fun making these elves. Thank you for offering these courses. And you can see that she emulated another one of her Christmas elves, another little dessert chef. So cute. Also taking this class is Leon Bleckman. Leon says, I almost finished my second elf. I just need to add some accessories for her to hold. I haven't decided yet, but totally enjoyed Kimberly Zarr's tutorial. Thank you, Livingfeld and the team for making these learning opportunities available. It is so our pleasure and so much fun for us to get to see what you make. We send the goodies out in a box and then you send us back these amazing pictures. Delightful. Linda Reeder, I have her little dolls here. She didn't add a comment to her photo, so why don't y'all add a comment? These are so cute. The little one with presents looks like he's singing. They are just adorable, and they're little elfin boots. Great job, Linda. Really, really, really so cute. All right, uh, Devin says, people are making such adorable elves. I so agree, Devin. Last up for this class is Kathy Palmer Mickelhannon. Mickelhannon, I don't know how to say that, but it's a great name, Mickelhannon. Elf number two from Kimberly Zars class. Such a great course. This is Peter the Potter Elf. Uh, thank you for a special yellow cup. I don't know what that means. Thank you for a special yellow cup. Maybe we lost some something in the translation there, but great job, Kathy. That's fantastic. He looks... Nice, and he looks warm around the middle, which I like. He's got a little <laughs> cup balancing on top there. Oh, I can't see that far. <laughs> Thank you for inviting such a cup. She must have found that cup. Super duper duper fun. All right, so less Christmassy, but just as charming. We have the Narwhal class uh, by Amy Long, and the first step from this class is Sarah Powell. Sarah says, I loved this tutorial. This is my finished Narwhal. I think he's so cute. Thank you, Amy. And you know, something I want to add about what's similar between these two classes is you learn to bring clay into your fiber work, which is just fantastic. Both of these teachers show you how to bring in other elements to add another dimension to your class. Kimberly Zars is a multi-step process. It's actually beginner friendly, even though it seems like it's not because she breaks the step down so easily to so small little bits that you can do. So it's like beginner to intermediate. And then Amy's Narwhals class is absolutely a beginner friendly class. We also have another Narwhal Weddy, and this one is by Nancy Meese. Nancy was so happy to complete her first Narwhal. She said, This is a great class and definitely a big skills builder for me. I learned so many new techniques like attaching separate components well shading skills and working with polymer clay thanks amy for putting yourself out there to do a video i love how these classes are broken down for re and available for repeated view and then up uh, somebody who just won donna munninger donna says i loved your class and your teaching style and although i bought the kit in yellow my body turned out a bit large so i ended up doing a more realistic color and hope to do babies in a number of pastels fun time all around and thank you for everything and i'd like to just comment quickly on what nancy said nancy says that the classes are broken down real easy to view we take the classes and rather than it being, you know, a, it's like a three day class, they can be hours and hours long. What we do is we break them down into little tiny sections so they're very easy for you to jump back to a particular section and find just what you want, like how to make the narwhal horn or how to insert the eyes or how to add the fins or how to make the um, doll head. So you can find your way to the exact section you wanna to get to 
very quickly. And there's even a little note taking function that you can use. Like right while you're watching a video, you can just take a note right there on the screen and you can reference them back later. If you're in the school and you haven't used the note taking function or you don't know how, there's an FAQ on them just so you can see some examples. You can even, you know, note for yourself supplies you need or whatever it is. But it's actually a pretty handy little deal. So those were super duper duper cute. Let's look at, let's jump to the opposite end of the spectrum, not needle felting at all, and let's go back to wet felting over a resist. Here's another class by Don Edwards. This is called Hidden Treasures, and this first hat is by Grace Joaco. I don't know how to say that fabulous name, Joaco. I finished this hat months ago before our brutally hot spring. I look forward to wearing it again this winter. Instruction was clear and easy to follow. I enjoyed learning from you. Thank you. And what a lovely hat and beautiful colors. In this hat, you're going to learn how to make a hat that fits your head, that's sculptural, that has interest. It's called Hidden Treasures because there's all kinds of goodies you get to put in this hat and even ones you get to put in and reveal later. It's such a fun process. Here's another fabulous example, this one by Shelly Steele. And she wrote, a great course, Dawn. Thank you so much. A woman of few words for such a fantastic hat. The colors are amazing, great contrast happening there. Everything just really jumps out, so it looks so good. Karen Oswald, a friend from across the pond, said, done, I had so much fun. I experimented with embedding small clear beads with flat backs, some locks as well. The white curly line is flax, and I've also used silk and pearl fiber. That is an amazing hat. And any of these hats would just be a fantastic conversation piece. Get you a lot of attention at a party. <laughs> okay, Jill Francis is up next. First one, done, lots of fun. Thanks to Dawn for a very informative course and her comments. Next time I'll use less fiber for a finer hat. My blue-brown color scheme was based on the beaded and sequined fabric, a dress I have held on to for 25 years. I've been waiting a long time to cut it. It's been waiting a long time to be cut up. <laughs> yes, when it's, when it's okay to cut up your clothes, that's, that's none of belting. We have another fun one here, and this one is by Stacy Colgan. Stacy calls this her mermaid hat. So glad I finally took this class. Never did I think I could make such a fun piece. This has helped me to push my boundaries outside of scarves and flat felts. What a wonderful teacher and a great resource at Living Felt. And we're so happy to see you taking advantage of it, learning from these fantastic teachers who are so generous, and then making these great, artful, one-of-a-kind pieces. All right, up next is Natasha Smart. Thank you so much, Dawn. It was a lot of fun, and I found your videos and explanations really clear and easy to follow. I'm so pleased with my finished hat, and it was great trying a new technique. I'm not sure I'll be popping to the shops to wear it as it's pretty flamboyant, but I really love it as a sculptural art piece and occasionally wear maybe. Thanks again. Well, if you haven't seen, Natasha does show this on her social media. She looks fantastic in this hat and just a little tiny um, sneaky, I guess insight is that keep watching us because you'll get to meet Natasha later this year. She's from across the pond. If you don't know her name, look her up on Instagram because she's coming here and will be a teacher in our school too. We're very excited about it. So cool, cool. All right, so that's more wet felting. Let's jump back to, should I, I pause for a second? Let's see what people are saying. I just see hearts, hearts, hearts. Dawn is easy to follow, a big heart for Natasha. JJ Packer says, it's amazing all the talent out there. I so agree. Um, Petra Peeling says, my class list is getting long. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's so easy to do. I love that you all are celebrating these folks so much. Stephanie Williams says, I may need to take the hat course. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Thank you all so much for participating and contributing here and just helping to celebrate these people's works. This takes a lot of time. You know, sometimes we sign up for a class and we don't get to it. We don't dedicate the time or we buy the supplies. And this is what it looks like when you finish something. And these, all these results are just so inspiring to me as well. 
All right, let's look at another 2D course. This is again, a wet felting and needle felting by our treasured Laura Ricks. The first up from this Redbud Reflections class is Anne Laxic. Anne says, Laura really challenged me with this tutorial in a good way. Thanks so much, Laura, for sharing your talent with us. You are a master felting artist, and I am grateful that you make these tutorials so we all can learn from you. I am in awe of your artistry, and you motivate me to want to become better at this art form. Now, what's your next tutorial going to be? <laughs> Great question because we'll we'll have uh, looks at Laura does have more classes coming up at the end of this year. All right, we also have a piece by Janine Frank. She writes, my completed Redbud Reflections. Great class, Laura. I learned so much. Thank you. And another beautiful result. These are just fantastic. They look beautiful. We have an offshoot from Jennifer Newton Flory. Jennifer writes, my first big wet and needle felted landscape. Laura Ricks teaching red bed reflections was invaluable. Oh, and then she writes, to me, Marie Spalding, you tutorials and suggestions on how to do the pine trees was perfect. The biggest takeaway, this was so much fun. Thank you for all of your inspiration. And what a beautiful piece. It's so fun to see people trying a challenge piece by learning techniques and then doing something completely else. So very, very nice, very good. Well, I think it's a great time to probably pause and give away another prize. What do you think, Jordan? I Let's think see. So. Okay, I'm gonna ring the bell now. <laughs> it's prize time. <laughs> okay, I'll draw one this time and you pick the prize. Okay. How's that? Okay. Sounds good. But I gotta whittle it down to one. Do I just have one? Feels like, Looks like it. Oh yeah, you too. <laughs> I'm not gonna peek. Okay, this is one on top. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, pick a prize. Let's see. And then we'll tell you. Thanks y'all for playing with us today. Super duper fun to give away stuff. My winner is Tammy Daniels. Hey. What'd she win? A $20 ah. school voucher. <laughs> oh, so nice. <laughs> cash. <laughs> Get, winning cash is really fun. So Tammy wins 20 bucks that nice. you can apply to a course in the school. So Tammy and Donna, well, I know Donna's in there, but if you're not signed up yet, set up your free account so that we can issue you your voucher and you get started using it right away. Super duper fun. I know there's more prices in there than money, but there's nothing wrong with money, I don't think. <laughs> okay, we have another fun class. This is one of the very first classes we filmed when we first moved into our new space here. And this one is Needle Felting um, Fantastical Dragons by Joyce Hazelrig. And the very first model is by Stephanie Lambert. This class is so, so fun. And Stephanie Wright, I just completed my first dragon. Meet Lagartha. <laughs> Lagartha is amazing. What great colors. In this class, Joyce will help you create an armature, show you some fantastic techniques for creating lovely textures and scales on the skin, spines, amazing wings, horns, another class that brings clay in with your fiber. It's just absolutely beautiful. So the results are as unique as the individuals who take the course every time. Really love seeing them. We have another uh, piece, Stephanie Williams. She says, wow, this was a great course. There are things I will do differently on the next one. Smaller toe claws <laughs> being one of them. I think I will work with the neps. I'll work the neps in longer too. So with this class, Joyce is going to show you how to, you'll do some needle felting and some wet felting. You will work with some luster fibers and um, embellishment fibers as well as armature, and as I mentioned, the clay, and every dragon is different. Every single one looks different. None of the two are alike. Marjolene Wolverson in the UK submitted her dragon, finished my dragon. I loved this tutorial. Look how sweet it is. I love how the wings are posable as well as the tail, and they each dragon has so much character. We have one by Diane Bovoltz. Diane writes, my dragon is finished just in time to give to my daughter for Christmas. I think I started in October. I wish I could have kept track of the hours. I learned so much from this class and would definitely recommend it to others. I've started a smaller version and can't wait to see how it turns out. Well, that is a fabulous dragon and I'm sure made her daughter so happy for Christmas. 
We have A Beautiful Dragon by Jessica Jansen. Hello from Sweden. I got this class as a birthday gift and just finished my first dragon. I made it half the size just to get the feeling and making mistakes on the little one. Now I'm about to start my second and the size that's shown in the class. I really love this class and Joyce, you are a great teacher. Thank you. Oh, I agree. Every dragon that has come out of this course has just been delightful. One more dragon today by Carol Neal. Carol says, I finished my dragon and had a great time making him. I called him Blaze, which means fire breather. Thank you, Joyce, for a wonderful tutorial. It was easy to follow and I learned so much from you. I've always loved dragons and I will be making more in the future. Absolutely fantastic. So, so fun. Well, let's jump to another, now do dragons, I'll mention real quick, the dragons is like an intermediate class. So it's not gonna be your very first needle felting class. It's armature and wet felting and all that stuff. But if you've made a few things with 3D and done a little bit over armature, then you, you know, if you feel like you're ready, that class is really fun. So it's a really great class to do. Everyone in chat is so impressed with the variety of dragons that have been created. I've never seen two dragons that look alike, ever. None of them look alike at all, which to me is just amazing. People, I helped someone pick colors for a dragon the other day, and there's so many different parts that you get to pick colors for that it's, I don't know, they're just beautiful. Even if we gave two people the same color palettes, they'd make something different, I know. Okay, another recent class. This one was long, long awaited, so we're just beginning to see things come out of our most recent classes, but we wanted to share these first results from Blossom by Kimberly Pulley. This lovely picture is by Dasi Pintar. She writes, Hi Kimberly, I really enjoyed this class and learned so much. My first go at it is from your granddaughter's photo, but I did my own drawing guidelines. And then when things look different, I just went with how I felt at the time. I am proud of this first attempt and hope to do more. Your knowledge and talent as a portrait painter is evident in your work. There is so much for me to learn. Well, we think that Dossi made an absolutely fantastic portrait. It has a very dramatic feel to it and a lot of feeling as well, a beautiful result. And we also have one by Donna Lackey. Donna writes, shout out to Kimberly Pulley. I truly enjoyed your class. I used a photo of my niece, one without showing her teeth. I need a class on realistic teeth, she says. <laughs> she is very fair and the photo did not have too many shadows. I welcome any suggestions for improvement. Thanks. Well, I think it's a very serene photo and absolutely beautiful. I love how she filled the whole background with, with blossoms, if you will. That was the title of the picture. So this class that Kimberly teaches is a wet felting and needle felting class. It also has nano felt elements because she's gonna bring in silks for added texture and color and design design and dimension and she really teaches you how to approach a portrait and how to add color and shading and highlights to the face so it's a great great class to take if you want to give portraits a try she really makes it approachable so fabulous class by Kimberly okay we are going to jump um, back to the needle felting over an armature these uh, results you're about to see are from a class by Irina Hughes on felting roosters really bright and colorful roosters this is by Joan Frazier she writes he is done my favorite takeaway definitely learning how to make the feathers in this class and for this class so Irina Hughes developed this class specifically for the school she is a very talented at do needle felting realistic animals because she's a student of the animals and I challenged her to make this colorful rooster and asked her if she would give it a go so everything in this class was developed for teaching you this process and making beautiful roosters and everyone is fantastic Maria Svensson shares hers it she says here's ludwig the rooster thanks irena i've learned so much in this class and isn't he beautiful if you know someone who collects roosters these roosters are little works of art they have a lot of sheen in their feathers they look so beautiful they have so much stature they're lovely okay we have one by sherry galligan and she only writes finally finished him <laughs> but you know what this is a big undertaking this is a large bird with 
every feather is applied <laughs> in some way. You make individual feathers and you add all these little tufts for feathers. They're just fantastic. Evi Uchboa, I don't know how to say your name. It's fantastic though. Uch Uchjoa. Here is my rooster. I'm just waiting for the last color of silk. Thank you, Irina. Excellent class from Norway. Absolutely, a beautiful rooster. I love these, I love these so much. One more, this one is by Reagan Meyer. She said, I didn't have the silk on hand, so I used merino wool and I found it worked well. Thank you for the class. If you want to learn how to make amazing feathers, uh, how you want to build your, how to build your underbird, how to make feathers, how to make them look so realistic like this, you should definitely take this class because people have taken this class and then they go on to make other types of birds, which are just fabulous. So it's absolutely, even if you don't want to make roosters, then you can learn how to create these feathers from this class. So amazing. What are people saying over there, Jordan? Peg Elliott is asking if the roosters are life-sized. Uh, well, they're not quite life-sized. I don't think so. They're not quite life-sized. They're about three-quarter size. They stand about this tall. In fact, you know what? We'll we'll grab one right for the tail end of the show. We'll grab one of the roosters and maybe the dragon too so you can see like how big these things are. They're so fantastic. And um, yes, it's a wool sculpture, they're saying. I wonder what kind this one is. Yeah, these are all, these all start with, the rooster starts with armature and wool, and then we use wool and other fibers to make those feathers. Absolutely fantastic. We're jumping back and forth here. We have another fun project, just a few from this one. Laura Ricks uh, has a lot of classes in the school and more coming up. This class is called Crisp Autumn Day. It has been incredibly popular. And I think looking at this picture, you can see why. This picture is by Stephanie Laseco and there's no comment attached to it, but I will say, wow. She really got the depth in the sky. And this class was about really doing the sky, doing a simple landscape, incredible clouds, and putting your subject there, you know, in the right perspective. The house being little and the trees being little and far away. And really learning how to do these clouds, both in techniques and the fibers used. Beautiful result, Stephanie. Another one by Sandy Randolph. Sandy writes, thanks for a great class, Laura. I really learned a lot and have lots of new skills to practice. And this class was a very simple subject and it does come with a kit. So you get the colors for the sky and the colors for the landscape and the colors for the little house. And what you see is in this class, people are basically replicating the same picture and building techniques based on creating this picture. So everyone is so beautiful. We have another lovely one by Wendy Middleton. Wendy says, I loved this course. You were very accurate in your direction and told us everything we need to know. You are a great teacher. I can take what I've learned into other pieces, especially wet, wet felting, which I was a bit worried to do as I've not done it before on a piece like this. And I do want to tell you that if you are a little timid about taking these 2D classes that are needle felting and wet felting, Laura's classes, she really teaches you how to get the, she's going to teach you how to get the basic subject in place. And the wet felting is what's going to kind of just blend everything together, but it isn't a difficult process that she uses. She uses the palm washboard, so she's not rolling, she's rubbing. She'll teach you exactly how to do that, but her approach is absolutely beginner friendly. And any of her class, any of these classes that we've shared with you, except for Redbud is more intermediate. intermediate. If you want to give your first 2D classes a go, definitely check out Laura's classes. They're really, really fun. All right, uh, Irina Hughes, who did the rooster and uh, she does great realistic animals. We have another course by her on needle felting an African elephant. And here is the first one from her class by Anita Hansen. Anita says that elephants are my favorite animal ever, and I'm sure you can imagine how excited I was when I saw Irina's amazing talent and her willingness to share those talents with others. This has been such a fun project. I had to make some modifications for the goop fups I made instead of redoing them. I also wanted to make an African bull elephant, so I studied a lot of different pictures of African of actual elephants to get the look I wanted, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. 
Without this wonderful tutorial, I don't think I would ever have been brave enough to try a project this big, let alone my favorite animal. She said, with your wonderful instructions, I'm proud to display him where others can see him. Thank you so much. And that's such a great feeling, right? When you've made something that you're so proud of, you're willing to share it. I love that. We have another elephant by Aaron Persky. Aaron says, I loved the course. I learned a lot. My elephant has some issues, but for a second project, I had some great responses. <laughs> Thank you so much for an excellent class. I can't believe that's only her second <laughs> felting project. That's fantastic. I never would have tried something realistic for my second project. We have one more fabulous elephant, this one by Ellen Wayne. Ellen says, hi, Irina. I was somewhat anxious, but excited to create your magnificent elephant. Since I have never needle felted any 3D project, I felt a bit intimidated with my first being your elephant creation, but I loved elephants. I love elephants so much that I trusted your tutorial to teach me to learn from the very best. As I learned, I did see some corrections I would have to make, but this is my first, I'm calling him George. It just seemed to fit. I thank you so much because I am pleased with what you taught and I'm inspired to continue to be inspired and learn and create. I love that. I'm inspired to continue to be inspired. What a fabulous saying. That is so wonderful, Ellen. So great to see people stretching and trying something new. And I think that's one of the things we appreciate so much about these teachers is they're taking things that people pay for. People buy their artworks and they're sharing those techniques so that they're creating something much bigger than themselves and uh, just allowing other people to realize their own abilities and talents and passions in this art. And we appreciate all of our teachers so much. So really, really fun. And you know what? I can't believe it, but it's already time for another prize draw. What do you think? Ooh, what do you think? Right. There? <laughs> Thank you all so much. Okay, who's your... Right, you um, drive. Okay. Yeah, okay. We're just taking turns here. So fun. <laughs> and thanks y'all for hanging out with us, by the way. I have to keep the hat over there because Jordan keeps adding names to it. Yeah, so. keep commenting. Yeah, there's nothing new in the prize bowl, though. So let's see what's let's see what's in here. I'm gonna find something. Here we go. Oh, very fun. Are you ready? Okay. I have Lori Demang. And I have Boo Kitty. Oh, okay. Boo Kitty is a really fun 2D project uh, created by Fairy Kayla. Yeah. Fairy Kayla did the drawing and actually did the tutorial with me a couple of years back. So there's a little video tutorial for needle felting Boo Kitty and there's you can get to that a few ways. So congratulations, Lori. Woo. Yay. Okay, are y'all having fun? I wish I could read everything you're saying. I know y'all are all excited about all these things. Um, Donna says she thinks she's going to use her prize for the dragon class. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. Sue Van Lith in California. Hi, Sue. Says all the teachers have amazingly generous spirits, and we agree. Those are the kind of folks we love working with. Um, and Sue Cotton also says the teachers are also generous. And Carrie Jones says not enough hours in the day. <laughs> well, yeah. So let's make the most of them, huh, y'all? Let's focus on the fun stuff, good stuff, and sharing with each other. That's the most important thing we can do is uplift each other. And that's why we do this, you know? It's uplifting and fun, and we love seeing y'all shine. All right, well, we have more fun to share with you. Uh, more 2D uh, by Laura Ricks. This class blew our minds. Um, it was called, it's called Break Water Beach by Laura Ricks. And every single piece out of this class will just floor you. So you have to visit the galleries. Laura McNally, this is her piece. Thank you, Laura. I learned a lot from this course that I can use going forward. Well, I'll say she really made it her own. She came even from a different perspective and added the little beachy dune grass there. The sky looks so serene. What a beautiful piece. Here's another one, Helen Russell. What a fantastic course. This is my second time wet felting. I feel I have learned so much. I used the palm washboard this time and can see why everyone loves it so much. Laura, you're an amazing artist and teacher. I was able to use so many of my newly learned techniques in a design of my own. I am proudly displaying both on my wall. Thank you. Well, we think this breakwater peach is just fantastic. And we have a couple of pieces coming up here back to back. These are by Sonia Oswald. You'll know Sonia as the teacher of the beautiful, bright and beautiful macaws class. Sonia took 
uh, Laura Rick's class and she made two beachscapes I think that we're sharing today and this is one what great color she used I love the stormy sky and that water looks so turbulent that is a stunning breakwater beach piece so fabulous and then I think here what we have up next oh is another piece by her so gorgeous that sky is just incredible Sonia it looks so beautiful and realistic and the water looks that has that really mirror quality which is absolutely fantastic beautiful beautiful okay Ellen Wayne writes hi Laura I wanted to show you my finished project it became a family project as I extended the design with complementary fabric and shells and my husband John designed the frame thank you again for your instructive tutorial and I love that that they they were worked on it together, bringing their two talents together to create that piece. How beautiful. All right, one of our BFFs, you're all our BFFs, so some names I know more than others. Teresa Dudick writes, here's my version, our lake view. I loved your class, Laura. It took me a while to get started on this as I was waiting for a windy wave producing day on the lake. I got tired of waiting. <laughs> well, that is really fun and so cool. She included uh, part of her picture there. Fantastic, Teresa. Thank you for sharing. Um, this one is... Do we have Gail Graham, six and seven Gail Graham? That's I'm missing one Stephanie. that says no comment. I just want to make sure I, I have these right. Do we have two more? Uh, just one from Stephanie uh, Williams. Did I get my, my things mixed up? Oh, here I say I got my papers mixed up. Okay, here we go. Stephanie Williams writes, so I decided to try a rectangle. It's almost square. I truly enjoyed this project. I've been afraid to take on waves before this. This was very easy to follow and the directions were very clear. There are a ton of leftover fiber in the kit, so more fun to be had. That is fantastic. And actually, we do have one more. This one is by Kimberly Pulley, as you know, the teacher of Blossom in the School. And this is her piece made during the pandemic. Laura, thank you for helping me to have the confidence to add more dimension to my work. So beautiful. And the piece with so much meaning. Man, I really, really love that. That's fabulous. Did I get myself mixed up here? No. 15. Section 15, Diana Nagorna Skirt. Okay, great. Um, then I'll move. Sorry, y'all. Let me get myself myself sorted here. I'm going to move my price. Okay. We have Diana Nagorna. Diana is a very well-known felt maker in um, the Ukraine. And her classes, she shared her classes with the school. We've broken them down into the same formats. And this first class is a textured scarf. Uh, Jackie Bartolini. Our friend in Florida says, I finished such a fun project. Although I've been wet felting for 13 years and I've made many scarves, I enjoyed learning some new tips. And this is a really fun, it's almost like a centipede-ish type of scarf. It's so uh, oceany, it's fabulous. We have Judith Maggie Fritchie. Here is my scarf and I just love it. It is so fun with these great textural elements. It's a great class for learning some techniques. You could use these in a wall hanging. You could use some of these techniques in a vessel. You could use them in a table runner. Uh, so it really interesting and textural. We have another one by Suzanne Burr. And she writes, I'm very happy with the results. I learned a lot. Thank you. That is a wet felting class. It's a 100% wet felting class, but you know, as you can see by the results that people shared, you can make something that's short or long and any colors that you can imagine. So that's the textured scarf with Diana Nagorna. Up next is a really great, interesting class, a unique process uh, by, we call it Stained Glass Koi by Kami Wogu. Cami came up with this design for like an underwater scape and that she calls, and it's a stained glass. You learn how to work with silk and fiber and pre-felt together to create these incredible, I think they look like felted tapestries. This one is by Cheryl Wallace Sivak. Thanks, Cami. I really enjoyed this class and learning the stained glass method. My background silk bled some, but I will add details with needle felting to make things pop more. I used orange crate plastic for one of the koi fish and it worked well. There are so many elements in this piece that you can take them, you know, to so many different ways you can create texture and 
um, what am I trying to say, sheen and interest depending on the fibers and fabrics that you choose in this piece. It's really fun. Well, here's another one by Jackie Bartolini. She writes, it's a smaller version and I had it framed with museum glass to protect the fibers from sunlight. Overall, I'm happy with the result. However, my koi are a little too large and a little too close together. Thank you, Cami, for your wonderful enthusiasm and humor. So amazing, beautiful, beautiful piece. Marion Lauder submitted this one and says, I have enjoyed this class and learned a lot. I think it's so interesting you can see the variety you can take just from taking someone else's process and turning it into your own, doing something different. Diane Corbett submitted this piece and said, thank you for sharing this project with us, Cami. It was really something. I challenged my mind and pushed my limits, but I persevered and I got it done. Absolutely beautiful. It must be a really long piece as well. These pieces can be as long as a table or short. Then um, do we have a detail piece? Oh, this is a second piece by Diane Corbett. I really wanted to share this with you. Oh, where'd it go? This is a detailed one. Of oh, Diane this is Corbett's. the detailed one. I'm sorry. Um, this is the detailed look at that one. So you can see that a little bit up close. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. We have another piece uh, by Gail Graham. Yeah, this is a piece that I really wanted to share with you. She said, I took the class to learn techniques, but I did not want to make the koi. So here is my piece all laid out. So original and so unique. I love that she took the techniques to make her own piece. And then do we have one more piece by her? Um, I think this is where it's laid out. Oh, great. Before she felt it. And then this is it finished. Right. Oh, right. And she says, you can't tell by the photo, but the uh, piece in the lower right are real feathers. I just love this scene that she's created. I, th I think this is very, very inspiring. Absolutely fantastic. So fun. And thank you all for sharing your work. Everyone who submitted work, you've shared it in our Facebook group. You've shared it in the um, class chat. Sometimes people share on their own social media and they tag Living Felt and they tag the school. We love seeing what you make. And what you'll find is in the class chat in the school, you can share your work in process photos. We ask people not to share steps in other social media because the teachers have shared these steps and they're sharing them as part of their work. So we ask people not to share their steps in our Facebook group and in social media, but we have class chat for you to get questions answered and to sort of work through those processes together. And then always that fun final result of seeing the finished pieces in class chat and then elsewhere on social media are really, really amazing. All right, let's do another uh, 2D here. And this is the Sunrise Sunset with Anna Repke, another early class uh, filmed here. Anna's taught in person as well a couple of times really. This one is by Marion Lauder. Marion says, finished, great class. Thank you. I've been afraid to stitch on my felt work and this has given me courage. Wow. The colors she used in that piece are absolutely incredible. A really beautiful piece. And here is one by Laura McNelly. Oh, what a lovely serene piece. And Laura included the tree that Anna teaches you how to add, if you wish, in the foreground. Laura writes, ta-da, I'm finished. <laughs> Love that moment of victory when you just call something done and you're ready to put your, put your name on it. We have another one here. This one is by Sandy Randolph. Woo, man, that is just an incredible sunset. I finished my piece a few weeks ago and I framed it. I'm very happy with it. In fact, it's already on the wall in our living room. This class was great. I learned so much. I took my time with each step, so it took a while, but so worth it. My inspiration photo was taken from our deck outside of our living room. Wow, really a good time when you can take something, a photo of something that inspires you and then really treasure it forever in such a unique and one of a kind way. Beautiful piece, Sandy. We have one more from this course. This one is by Marian Anthony, Mary Ann Anthony. She says, it took me a while, but I finally completed my project. I am so happy with the result. Thank you so much for this class. And as y'all can see, you can make anything from what the teachers share with you in this class. This is another class that includes both 2D and I mean in needle felting and wet felting in the process. There's a little more wet felting than in Laura Rick's class. There's more building of the background. Maybe there's less 
needle felting before. There's more needle felting after. It's like you wet felt the canvas and then you apply the design, but then she also helps you top stitch if you want, like with a sewing machine, which is really a great way to add some interesting uh, detail and texture and some really fine details as well. She shows you how to add some fine details by using a sewing machine. You don't have to, as you can see, not everybody does, but if you do, it's really an interesting process to try. We have a great a needle felting class, fun for beginners, and this one is called Bug Buddies with Amy Wright Long. A really charming class where you can make all kinds of magical little friends. Sharon McLeod shared this one. I really enjoyed this project and I learned the tech and the techniques I was hoping to learn. Amy is a very good teacher and I agree with that absolutely. Bug Buddies can be just any color and absolutely she gives you three different body shapes that you can play with. As you can see by this one, Jocelyn Wells made up a very original bug, so delightful and cute. And Jocelyn writes, thank you so much. I really enjoyed this class. Now there are more bug buddies in the school. I have a bug buddy in my office that Amy made for me that I absolutely treasure. Um, and I've shared her from time to time. Bug buddies is a really delightful class to take. You learn how to make some different elements and just really add a lot of personality to something fun. I could see like a little baby mobile <laughs> made with some cute, cute bug buddies. Okay. Let us look. Um, why don't we give away another prize? We've only given away three prizes so far. I'm gonna call for the I'm gonna call for the prize bell right now, y'all. Thank you for playing with us. Let's see what somebody's saying. Are we out of time yet? A little bit. Oh, we're out of time. We go we're gonna hurry. We're gonna go a little <laughs> over because we want to give away another prize. Okay, is your turn to pick? I don't even know. Neither do I. <laughs> I'll pick the prize. She'll pick the name, and we're gonna wrap this up here. We're gonna do a couple more. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Meg Bartlett. Meg, you win a $25 school <laughs> voucher. Woo woo. woo woo. Lots of cash going away today. And oh, I didn't mention, but there is a sale going on in the school right now. So if you happen to meander over there, check it out. It's a lot of fun. Great, great time. Okay, let's blaze sure. through. We're going to do, um, let's look, we're going to look at a couple of birds uh, by Kiyoshi Mino, and then we'll do um, charity charities class okay so here we have one of the first class we filmed is an open winged bird by Kiyoshi Mino this bird is by Sue Cotton she writes at last finished I think I will be dreaming about making feathers for a while <laughs> brilliant course I really enjoyed it and I learned so much thank you to Kiyoshi and living felt and so so fun quick another one here by Carol Neal well, I finally finished my sparrow and I'm really pleased. It was so much fun. I learned so much about while doing it. Thank you, Kiyoshi. I had a blast. Lots of commitment to make all of those feathers, I tell you. And then the last one here from Kiyoshi's class is by Terry McLaughlin. Terry writes, a pleasure to take Kiyoshi's class. I learned so many new skills. I admit I had to dig deep into my well of patience within myself. Definitely the most challenging project I've undertaken and so glad I did. I love that two completely different takes uh, yeah. on the process. Oh, we'll show this last one. Sure. Okay, here's one that takes us on a completely different spin. Uh, someone you've already seen, this one is by Karen Oswald and she made a phoenix sparrow. She was inspired, inspired by the open wing bird tutorial. So very fun. Well, we're gonna jump to um, some Neno felt dresses Charity Vandermeer, some of you have met her. She's been here before and she will be here again. This dress was made from the sunset dress in her class, the Nunnefeld Sunset Dress by Pat Neal. And Pat writes, this is my finished dress. Thanks for Charity and Living Felt. Charity will teach you how to make a dress that fits your body, whatever size you are, and she makes it very, very approachable. She has another more um, advanced class. It's called Neno Felt Wearables, where you learn how to dye. You make a sample tunic, and then you make a dress. It's a great stepping stone process. And this one is by Petra Miklowate. I finished my dress and wore it with gloves and a stole at a wedding reception. That This was fun, thank you. And wow, she looks fantastic in that dress. And then one more dress by Linnea Keats. She says, as I promised, I've now completed my second tunic dress after the Charity Vandermeer class through Living Felt Tutorials. 
I worked long hours to create color choices, use of embellishments, and then the challenge of the shrink to fit. I am happy with the result. Now for the opportunity to go out and wear it somewhere. Well, fantastic result and just a big, just round of hearts and applause for everybody who took these courses, completed the projects, shared something. We're so grateful to you all for doing this. We are gonna give away uh, one more prize right Right now here on the live show and then we hope that you will leave your comments down below maybe let us know what class you are planning to take maybe let us know what classes you took and you enjoyed so that other people can uh, gain confidence in doing that too and giving it a try it's really fun for to help other people get over the hurdle or concern or fear about making something and um, Jordan has brought in two of the creations that'll give you some uh, idea of scale. So here is this beautiful rooster and you can see his size that you would make in this class. I think it's a very doable size. Oh, yeah. And then you look at him next to the dragon and he looks small. <laughs> <laughs> here is the dragon. Now you don't have to make him this big, but this is the size of the dragon and these beautiful wings that fold down or go up and you get to learn how to make, you know, these spikes and textures and nails and horns and Woo, so much fun. And if you take Amy's eye class, so Amy Long has an eye class in the mm -hmm. school, you can make your own custom eyes as well. Oh, well let's, let's give away one more prize just to end out the session, Jordan. You pick the prize and I'll pick the name. And thank you everyone for hanging out with us. I know we've gone long. <laughs> There's just so much goodness to share. How many did we had? We had a lot of photos. Oh, Over yeah. 80 or something. Oh, yeah. Like that. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I am. <laughs> the winner is Kathy Brown. And in true fashion, you have a school voucher for thirty dollars. <laughs> we gave it away some bucks today, y'all. There were felting prizes oh, in yeah. there too, but you know, <laughs> thank y'all so much and congratulations. We appreciate you being here. We're gonna give you a real quick sneak peek next week. I have a new guest coming. She is going to teach you how to wet felt. A vest. So we're gonna, you're going to get to meet uh, Patty Barker. She's coming from Florida. So come back next week if you're interested in wet felting and meet our guest. We're going to be filming starting on the holiday. Yeah. Jordan and I will be here filming. But early bird enrollment starts a week from Friday for Needle Felting Dogs by Esther Baba. Esther traveled here all the way from Budapest. That's how you say it. Yes. Budapest, Hungary. <laughs> and she will teach you either how to make this lovely lying down dog. We chose a pit bull with a brindle coat so you can make a realistic dog that's lying down. This is the beginner friendly class. Or you could learn how to make this longer fiber realistic German Shepherd. She teaches you how to apply the fur, how to sculpt these beautiful animals. You'll With this one you'll also learn how to do the clay toes, clay nose, and glass eyes. And this guy has glass eyes and clay nose. Two wonderful classes. Early bird enrollment starts a week from Friday and the classes, classes plan to go live the week after that. So get on over to the school, feltingtutorials.com, set up your free account, take a free class, check it out. And in the meantime, we hope to see you back here next week. We'll see you in our group, Living Felt Friends on Facebook and shop with us at livingfelt.com because we just love to see you. Yeah. All right. Thanks, y'all. Bye. Bye.